We should probably introduce ourselves or each other. This is Emma. Oh, we're recording already. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is Jamie. This is Paul. This is our special guest, Poe. Sometimes you hear her voice in the background. This is the only time we've let you see her face. So far. So far! <laughs> yeah. Today we're going to drink an oolong. An oolong tea is one of the best teas we've got. Is it oolong? No, it's not an oolong oolong. It's an oolong of mysteriousness. Do you want to pour it? If. I want to see the box. You want to see the box? Okay. Yeah, because I don't understand the box and it's magic. This is the box. Now, it came, I think it came from Shenyang. Shenyang in China. Now, we don't know much about it because most of the box, as you thus expect, is in Chinese. Although it does have some English on the back. Which Emma can read. She is the only one of us that can read. Uh, Tia Kuan Yin, precious among oolong teas, is world renowned for its bright colour and aromatic taste. This product, made elaborately selected Tia Kuan Yin tea leaves by modern tea making equipment, is bright green with nice smell and sweet and aromatic flavour. It is really a combination of freshness, sweetness, purity and fragrance. Yeah, it's very, very high, high grade tea. And it also has brewing instructions. And it has, has lovely um, those individual packets. Um, which are incredibly wasteful, um, and I slightly object to them. But they do keep the tea fresh. So if all you care about is tea, you still probably shouldn't use them because of the wider environmental impact. But <laughs> Exactly <laughs> what she said. If all you care about is the taste of your tea now, at this moment in time, drink them. But you're also slightly short-sighted. Yeah. You if you really care buy, about your children's tea. You should really buy an airtight tea caddy. Yes. That's made of metal and you can just reuse it. Or glass. Glass would also be good to put like a, a seal, like a rubber Ooh. seal. Yeah. Do you want to pour it? Okay. We're using incongruous tea wear today because that is the most British pot I've ever seen in my existence. But we're using Chinese mugs. It is a bright green colour. It is. This tea is mysterious. I've had, had it once before. Uh, it claims it ought to be an oolong. Now, oolongs are weird. Because they can be anything. If you don't oxidise tea, it's a green tea or a white tea. And if you oxidise it fully, it's a black tea. And then anything in between, like anything at all in between, is an oolong. But this is definitely the greenest oolong I've ever tried. It is very it's green. It's basically a green tea. It smells green. It's, it, I find it indistinguishable from a green tea, personally. But it's one of the very nicest teas we've, we've got in the house. It's too hot. Yeah, it is too hot. I can't even hold that cup. It was also, I'm afraid to say, it's probably very difficult to get in the UK. This specific one. Mm, this specific um, type of tea that we're reviewing today. Because this particular box was a gift. From China. From China. To our mother, of all people. In China. In China. But uh, she let us very kindly, she let us... Uh, have this cup of tea. I think it's because she doesn't really like tea. Oolong tea. She likes some teas. I'm not sure what her opinion on oolong tea is. We should talk about this jumper. I think I should just point it out right now. It being the best jumper. I think it's the best jumper, but not because I want to wear it. Do you want to wear it? No. No. Do you want to knit it? Yes. No, I don't want to knit it anymore. (laughs) Done that. Done that. Emma knitted me this Doctor Who jumper. Completed. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now I'm probably going to have to knit myself a Doctor Who scarf. The longest one. And maybe get Fez. I'm wearing a smoking hat right now. It's Turkish. But, um, I bought it in Turkey. A Turkey, a Turkey smoking hat that Victoria bought in Turkey. Um, but I think I should probably get Fez to go with it, really. Because... Or a big floppy thing. Because Fezes are cool. Yeah. yeah. And a bow tie. And a bow tie to go with it. I could put a bow tie on, but I don't want to. The rest of McCoy didn't wear a bow tie, he just had a normal tie. It wouldn't go with your ensemble. No, I don't think so. Bow ties go with Most things don't go with your ensemble, though. And that's what makes it. How dare you impugn my ensemble. It's an amazing ensemble. Tao is empty. 
Its use never exhausted, bottomless, the origin of all things. It blunts sharp edges, unties knots, softens glare, becomes one with the dusty world. Deeply subsistent, I don't know whose child it is. It is older than the ancestor. That line was a kick in the teeth to Confucius. So how's the tea, Poe? Water. 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 I think this is like one of the best teas I've ever tried. There's no bitterness. None. None whatsoever. None. I can't really taste at the moment, though. Um, taste yeah. harder. Yeah, taste harder, Victoria. <sighs> what, do you, what do you think of it? It's so light. Not bitter at all, but not sweet because it's, you know, tea. Mm. It does have some sweetness. <laughs> Names can name no lasting name. Oh. Nameless, the origin of heaven and earth. Naming, the mother of 10,000 things. Empty of desire, perceive mystery. Filled with desire, perceive manifestations. These have the same source, but different names. Call them both deep, deep and again deep. The gateway to all mystery. So Poe's been replaced by our dad. Can I just say, guys, what an enormous honour it is for me to be invited onto this programme. No worries. No, you're not allowed to say that. Can I um, have some tea now? Yeah. yeah. But would you like some more? Yeah. She's still here. She's still here, but you're not allowed to see her because, you know, we have empathy Tech. for you. I'm crew. <laughs> you're crew. <laughs> crew. Crew with nothing to do. You didn't just... even move the camera. <laughs> yeah. This time. You're not even, you're not even starting and stopping the filming. Rubbish at the crew. Ooh. That smells distinctly. <laughs> Unlike tea. No, I'm not entirely sure why the Chinese decided that handles weren't a good idea on teacups. Yeah, it's a bit silly. Yeah. They only boil your tea to 80 degrees. But you know, there's one and a half billion of them, not so... Not 100. They all seem to manage. Yeah, but I like a handle on a teacup. So do I. Or at least a thicker teacup, because this is really thin. Hold it like this. It's fine. No, I'm holding it like around this. Around the top, where you don't have any... No, around the top, and on the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Around the pinkies. The t- exactly, exactly. Around the top, where you don't have any tea in the cup. No, I was also warned not, not to bottom. drop these, so... No, but you put the pinky on the bottom, you no, don't drop. <clears throat> Not entirely sure why we chose these cups with this teapot, since we have a matching pot to go with these cups. Well, we made the tea first and then I chose the cups. So what kind of tea is this? You, you said it was oolong. Yeah, a po- supposedly it's oolong, but I think it's more green. It, it's, it's a very, it's very, green. very lightly oxidized oolong. Okay. Year round, what was he D? So what does oolong actually mean? So it's slightly oxidated compared to green, but not fully oxidated like that. What's oxidated as opposed to oxidised? Chemistry. Oh, uh, Stuff. Yeah. I don't really know. I'm going to back off then. It says you should use 95 degree water for this. I used pretty hot. I thought it was 80 really hot. I'd guess 80, but that's just my guess. No, I used hotter than that. I shouldn't, I shouldn't guess. I should probably... I know where you got 80 from, and it was Neil Stevenson. No, it's because I drink a lot of tea. Oh, so oh I was in John Lewis the other week, right, and I saw a kettle that didn't just say what temperature you could do it to, it said what it was for, right? So it had 100 degrees was for black tea, 95 was for coffee, 90 was for oolong, and so on. I want that. I want so to So you just put like, green tea, boop, that's and then it would just heat your water with green tea. That's my... The, how, where was it? Like John Lewis. How much is it? Don't know. Was it less than a hundred pounds? Probably. I could probably get it. Yes. <laughs> Pretty tidy one. right now. But one that I could like type in the temperature rather than it telling me what it's for. Yeah. At the same time, you only really need like 195, 90, 80, and 70. I mean, Ooh, it showed it the leaves. It looks like spinach. <laughs> it looks like spinach. Yeah, but you didn't show the leaves. I didn't because they were already in the pot. <sighs> Emma, show the leaves. No, 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 not like that. <laughs> They're in packets. This one's open, though. Yeah, it's open, it's fine. But how will I put it back in the packet? With, with your skill. I do have skill. Emma has skill. With your mad skills. I do have mad skills. Crazy skills. Your mad skills, bro. So, if you saw in the teapot, it looked different, but this is... Uh, they are rolled up, but they, full leaves. They open out into full leaves. Wait a second, I might be able to retrieve one. This is only a small one, but they open out into full leaves. 
By this point, there's slightly more bitterness, but there's not an unpleasant bitterness. It's not like an astringent bitterness. Mm. It's like a. It's kind of a very round flavour. I don't really say anything about how it tastes. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's that's the whole point of our show <laughs> to not say anything no, about how it tastes. There's nothing. There's nothing bitter no, about it at it all. Tastes. It's. Very, yeah, so brown flavour yeah, is the best I can do. Well, that's better than what I know do. We said one of them was like licking a stone. I yeah. remember that. Yeah. We also said one was like a big warm hug. Yeah. Do you want some more tea? No, while you sit over there. Fingers, it? <laughs> <laughs> it's boiling water. If it was it's boiling, not fully it boiling, is it 95? Well, I don't know, it's still hotter than 75, which is the temperature that kills germs. <clears throat> not all germs. No, but the ones that don't die at 75 won't die until 120. Surely that would have hurt your fingers. Yeah, I know. I know, right? That's why you shouldn't eat reheated rice. You should go on Grand Designs. No. You should go on Grand Designs. I love Grand Designs. With the kitchen? With, you yeah, could, I think no, the whole house. 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 You need to like gut the house and then put in new floors, like random places. And then get pregnant so, and run out of money. Yeah, and live in a caravan in the garden. Uh, what else would you do? You'd have to convert the garage first to live Be in a your own house. And be your own architect and your own project manager while you're working. I'm gonna have to have some more tea because it was very really yummy. Right, to refill the pot. You what right. is this? Uh, oh, do you want to refill the pot? Go refill the pot. Mm. Uh, let's go refill the pot. Recognize beauty and ugliness is born. Recognize good and evil is born. Something in Chinese. Um, is and isn't produce each other. Hard depends on easy. Long is tested by short. High is determined by low. Sound is harmonised by voice. After is followed by before. Therefore the sage is devoted to non-action. Moves without teaching. Creates ten thousand things without instruction. Lives but does not own. Acts but does not presume. Accomplishes without taking credit. When no credit is taken, accomplishment, accomplishment endures. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. It didn't really follow as a story. It's not a story. <laughs> oh dear. Or as anything, really. So, this is a full leaf after it's unfurled. Yeah. That looks a bit wet. It is a bit wet because it just came out of the <gasps> teeth. It's like one of those fortune telling fish. Put it on your palm. Flat on your palm. Happy. Yeah, which way is it curling? It won't be very strong yet. I know, I'm going to mix it with my strong stuff in this cup. Ah, some weird tea for me. Ooh, ah, ah, hop, 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 hop. Pour you want some more? Sure. You should cut out my sniffs from the Don't pour it yet. It, it's, Why? It's not strong enough. It's totally strong. Yeah. If you were a weakling and trying to fight it. Yeah. If you were trying to battle the tea. Yeah. If you were... <coughs> Mecha Emma versus giant tea. Yeah. I like having my tea so we'd have an even fight. So yeah. like medium strong. For yeah. my size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a, that's not an equal fight at the moment. That's just a sort of no. like step on it. I just it push right. it and it would be. It's like a fight against plankton. This one though, see, with my <laughs> strong stuff in the cup, not so strong stuff from the pot. That's an equal fight. Yours isn't an equal fight. No, mostly because it's finished. And now I need to wait for that pot to get strong enough so I can drink it. Swirl it. If you're really impatient, it doesn't work. Doesn't work. These are really, really, really big leaves. They'll take a long time to infuse. And when they do infuse, they'll be all goodness in them, though. Oh, yeah, wow. Is it hot? Oh. Is it delicious? It's delicious. Even when it's that weak? Um, yeah, it's kind of very subtle. It is a subtlety. A subtlety? <laughs> oh, another one. Oh, <laughs> no, there are too many. Cookie. You get, these, tea. you get all these horrible things in London, like, you know, those, like, bubblegum teas that are all, like, Bright colours and then like, chewy stuff yeah. and stuff. Like, oh. That sounds delicious. <laughs> no. Or like people with tea and cocktails. Toast delicious. Oh, I've had that, I think. I've had cocktails and teapots. I've had that too. Someone gave me chocolate orange tea the other day. <laughs> I thought they just meant it was like chocolate orange infusion, but it actually black tea. It I was like quite it. good. Right. Apple strudel tea. Central American chocolate tea. Mm. Delish. Makes my hair look weird. Then no, sir, I do not bite my son, sir. No, I do bite my son, sir, but not to you, sir. Or to me, sir, to me, <laughs> <sighs> Troy just tried to Shakespeare, but she Shakespeare failed. 
Shake failed. Oh, oh my goodness, I thought yes, that. Yes, I, I prefer fail. it weaker, actually. Why? It's got kind of an overpowering roundness. <laughs> Like a ball in like your mouth. It's like a, it's a ball gag. It's a ball gag to you. Oh, no! <laughs> I wouldn't put it quite that perversely. I just meant like a bouncy ball. It's <laughs> <laughs> all the time you chew on a bouncy ball. No, chew on it, you pop it in there. Like you've got <laughs> <Yeah>. stuff <over. laughs> uh, no, that wasn't the... It would be quite overpowering. You do the same metaphorically. That wasn't the metaphor I was going for. <laughs> So not a bouncy ball. I don't think it tastes like a bouncy ball. Chewing on the world. Chewing on the world. <laughs> give us, give us an actual taste. Leaves. Taste of leaves soaked in water. That's true. Give us a, a better description. It tastes like the upper parts of a forest. Mhm. Mm not the lower. Earthy give us some parts. ratings. Some ratings. Ah. Uh, I give Seven it a five out of leaves. Mm -hmm. uh, nine and a half out of sunshine. I think two two out of spinach. Two out of spinach. It's got a little tiny spinachy flavour. Well, when I opened the pot, it looked like spinach. It's got a, about a three out of sweet as well. It's got a small sweetness to it. Are you sure you didn't put spinach in there by mistake? I think so. Well, unless the uh, people who package the tea put spinach in there. It doesn't taste that much like spinach. It tastes mostly of tea. A two is two out of spinach, yeah. Three out of sweet. Nobody bulked out spinach. It's entirely possible, but I think deeply unlikely. Kira, give us an opinion. Tea. Okay, give us a bit of opinion. Four out of tea. Well, it tastes like four. It tastes kind of weak. I like it. Something. Four out of. <coughs> give us a bit of foliage. It's well, quite foliagey. Yeah, how much does it taste like undergrowth? It's not that undergrowth. Overgrowth. There's a it's slight overgrowth. mushroom flavour. Mmm. I do not taste mushroom. mushroom. Mm. Small in mushrooms. Small in mushrooms, large in overgrowth. Right. It's like a sunny afternoon if you're sitting on top of the Amazon rainforest and a bird flies overhead and drops a fruit in your bowl. Oh, I see. It's a beautiful picture, I know. I would like some more. Okay, don't hold your cup like that, I'm gonna pour tea. Ah, put it down first. Do you want to sign off on this? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. This is us signing off. For the last time. I am. This has got off topic. There's no off topic. topic.